Hello Aces and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to build the de Havilland Canada DHT6 Twin Otter. So this is a turboprop airliner that is used on very very small short routes and as it's not a very large airplane and it's also used up in the uh, in the Arctic as well. So I'm going to be showing you how to build one with skis on it and it's also used as a seaplane right here which I have the, right there. So there's the floats. We'll talk about those in a minute. So this plane is actually a redesign of a, another Twin Otter tutorial that I have. If you go on my channel and look at one of my first first videos, it was I think it's the third or fourth video I've ever released on my channel, about like six years ago or seven years ago almost. Um, it's the uh, De Havilland Twin Otter. However, I have redone it, and obviously this is the brand new one of what it looks like. So it looks a lot better than that one. So in terms of building this plane, it's not very difficult to make. Uh, the only parts that might be a little confusing, well, for me at least, to explain it is this landing gear portion, like these, uh, like the landing gear. This is well, it's it's not too too bad, but it, it will be a little hard to explain to do this part. But the rest of it is very easy. So I, I will be showing. I will be talking about the floats uh, in a minute of what you're going to do if you want to build the seaplane version. But uh, here are the layers here. So this is how basically the plane will be built up. So as you can see, because this is a high wing plane, the wings are going to come near the end. Unlike my other planes that we've done, which are all kind of low wing planes, you can kind of see them all over here. We just did the DC-2, and that was a low wing plane. The Twin Otter is a high wing plane. Now, this is also the there is also another plane called the De Havilland Otter as well, which is a single engined uh, plane. It's a piston powered plane. But I will I will be making that plane in the future, but I, I wanted to make the twin otter because I want to like recreate my older builds and remake them kind of thing. So anyways, so let's talk about if you wanted the seaplane version. So if you want to make this version of the seaplane, now this video will be organized in timestamps, so you can be able to go to different sections of the video. So if you want to build the seaplane version, I recommend skipping to the float part, build those first, and then come back and build the plane on top of that. Because it's, it's going to be much easier for you guys to do that rather than building the plane and then building the floats after because then you, if you let's say if you want your plane like exactly on the water you might be off a couple blocks and you'll have to tear it up and restart it so I recommend building the floats first and then read watch the part where I build the aircraft so now the version on skis I don't have that version because I can't really fit it but I will show you how to build it with the skis it's not that hard and it, uh, it looks pretty cool so basically, yeah, you can decide of which version you want. And if you also want the ski version, same thing. Skip to the part where I do the version on the skis. But if you just want the regular version, like this one here with the landing gear and everything, then after this, pretty much you're basically finished the plane. So anyways, in terms of main materials, there there's not a whole lot of materials for this one. You'll be needing nether brick stair, white wool, quartz slab, glass, black stained glass, black wool, a door, cobblestone wall, block of iron, cobblestone stair, and white carpet. Now this plane does come with a full interior as well. Um, I'm like in my other videos I'm gonna be doing the interior walkthrough at the very end. There's really not much to see in there but there is a bit of an interior in there so I can show it to you. Anyways let's uh, begin this tutorial. Okay, so to begin, we're going to start with the landing gear. So this is going to be the version with the landing gear. So like I said before, if you want the float plane version, skip to that part. But in the meantime, what you're going to do is you're going to place a block down here, and then you're going to place an upside down nether brick stair, and then you're going to delete that, and you're just going to make it in a four pattern like this. So it kind of makes like a rounded looking wheel. And then you're going to place a block on the front part of this. You're going to come up by two. And then counting these three, you're gonna go 25. Like you're gonna counting this, you're gonna have 25. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And then you're gonna have a slab here. And then you're gonna come back to the front. You're gonna leave a two-block gap, and then you're going to place your blocks going all the way down. 
and then you're going to have a slab at the back of this and you're going to do the same thing on the other side just like this and a slab here then what you're going to do is from the back you're going to count one two and three and then you have a slab here and then these go all the way down I just want to see where they end one block short of the of the front here just want to make sure yep one block short and then you're gonna have a slab in here slab in here and here so do the same thing on the other side so one two three and then this is going to go all the way down until it's one block short of the front so there we go so there's kind of the base of the fuselage so the next part is going to be that complex part that I told you. It's not gonna, it's not really that hard, uh, but it it just might be hard to explain because I gotta remember exactly how I built this. But uh, this is the next part here, the where the uh, connection for the wheels will go. Okay, so this next section for the landing gear, we're actually gonna do this in a series of sections because it's gonna be very difficult for me to explain how to do all of this at once. So I'm going to make this part first here, and then we're going to do the attachment. So what you're going to do for, to uh, find where the landing gear is going to go, you're going to come to the front of the plane, and you're going to count in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth block, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. And I just want to make sure we have it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, on the eighth block. Perfect. So... I'll do the same thing on the other side so we can get both of where they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth one, one, two, three, four, five. And then what you're going to do is on the bottom part, you are going to just double this up. Yeah, you're going to double this up like that. And you do the same thing on the other side. And actually, I've, I think I've noticed something. Okay, you don't need the five going out. Okay, never mind. Never mind about this. Yeah, so just delete this, and you need the 5 here instead. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the 8th one. And you're just going to place 1 down here, and it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. So that's how it's supposed to look right here. So now, we're going to get the uh, landing gear attachments. Okay, so for this next part, I am going to have to probably go back and forth of uh, how to do it because I want to make sure I get it right. Because it is quite tricky to, ex it will be tricky to explain. But what you're going to do is place one block here. And I'll place one block on the other side so we know exactly where to put it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have three slabs going underneath here. And then you're going to put a double slab on here. And then you're going to come down by one. So you're going to have to dig into the ground and it's going to come like that. And I'll just fix that right here. This is going to go by three. And this is where I'm going to have to go back because I have to see exactly how this is built. Okay. Okay, I see how it's built. And then this is going to go three, one, and then like that. And I just want to check, make sure that's correct. It's always good to double check your stuff to make sure you got it right. And yes, it is right. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is do the same thing on the other side. So where you place this white block is right in the center between these. So you should have two and two on each side. And then right here, you're going to come down, place your slab on the lower part. You're going to come three, like make it a three in total, just by adding one on each side. And they're going to have two up on the upper part. And then you have a three again. There's going to be a one here. You're going to have to dig into the ground again. And then this is going to come out. And then you're going to go three. Or no, no, not, 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 not like this, actually. It's going to see. I'm already, uh, I'm already kind of confused. Hang on. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So you do. You do that and then you connect it one okay there we go perfect so yeah I was just getting a little confused like I said this part is a bit tricky to to do because I haven't done this plane in a while and it's I got to remember exactly how I did it that's why I had to double check everything so now what you're just going to do is we're gonna build the actual wheels 
So you're just going to have a white wool right here, and then you're just going to have a cross pattern like this with your black wool, and then you're just going to make your tires like this. Now, if you feel the tires are a little too big on this plane, you could always do these tires here on there. But um, I just did it like this because it fits directly centered. But you could also do this, except it it would look a little weird if you did it like this. Like if you wanted smaller wheels, but you probably want to move more to the back. I mean, I suppose actually, you wonder what? I suppose you could actually do this. So if you wanted to go like that, and then like this. The only thing with these stairs is they're not level. They're not even with this the, with the block. So you may actually have to place an extra one and make it all centered and stuff. Oops. I mean to do that. But I'm just going to keep it the way I built it. But I showed you guys some other alternatives if you think these wheels are a little too big. Or if you want to make your own style wheels, then you can. So there we go. So there's the landing gear on the plane. And if you really wanted to, you can also add a button on here to make like the rims. And if you wanted to go even more detail, if you wanted to add a little bit more, you can grab an item frame and just put them in between the buttons like that. If you wanted to do that. I'm not going to do that because I did not do that on mine. And I'm just going to leave it like this. But uh, if you wanted to, you can do that. So there we go. So there is the first layer done. So now we're going to move on to the second layer. Okay, so for the next part, you are going to come to the front. And you're going to have a 1 here. And then it's going to be 3, 1, 2, 3. And then this is going to be your long stretch. And this is going to go all the way down until it's in line with the slab that we placed right here. And then it's just going to be a 1 and then a 1 like that. And there will be slabs on the back. We'll put them on as soon as we get this side done. So you're going to have a three. And then this is going to go all the way down. Up, right up until here. And then you're going to have a block in here. And then just slabs across each part. Now, there are no slabs on the front. Because this is the very tip of the plane. So what we're going to do now is there is an area we do have to fill in to get ready for the cockpit floor. So, so from here, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if we come back to our build, you're going to fill in 7 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you're going to have your uh, quartz slab here. Now what you could do, because this is the cockpit floor, you could obviously fill it up with black if you wanted to. And then this is where your cockpit walls will go. So this will be your main cabin. So so you could do something like that for the uh, to get ready for the cockpit. So the next layer is actually where we're going to put the glass on and the doors. So we'll be able to build it up a little bit more. Okay, so before we continue, uh, change this actually all back to white. It will make more sense after. But this is where your cockpit floor will go. But just fill it in all white because we got a, uh, a little thing to place. So right here on the front, you're going to have a slab. And you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you're going to have 2. And then a 2. And then you're going to have 1 here and 1 there. And this is going to go all the way down. Right up until the very last for the slab that we just placed at the back and then you're just going to continue with your ones now your cockpit unfortunately on this plane is going to be extremely tiny so you won't really be able to get in a whole lot of detail in it and then you're gonna have a slab here and two slabs there i'll show you at the end what i mean but you're gonna have a two and then a one like that but you can uh, you could possibly adjust this actually um i will show you at the end of the end of the tutorial in case you want a bigger cockpit I, there is a few adjustments that I actually might do to the plane actually why don't let's just do it right now so add one block here and I'm actually just gonna move these up a little bit I didn't, I'm gonna be doing this to mine to change it but uh, this will allow you to have a little bit of a larger cockpit area and then you can just delete that and your cockpit will be bigger so yeah so basically where we had those two slabs just remove it and place blocks move the slabs up so they're basically like a one block gap two block gap on the front just like that and then just put uh, put this all the way down right up until the slab here 
and then you could just have a block to finish it off. Now there's no slabs at this part because this is basically where the tail will start building up. And it's also the very end of the plane. So this is pretty much the full length of the plane right now. So you can see it's not overly large. Very small plane. So, but now that you've got your cockpit area figured out, you can just build the cockpit walls up and then you can grab your black wool again and you can fill it in just like that. So this will be your cabin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place the windows and the doors and then we can move on to the next part. All right, so for the cutout of the windows, you're going to have six windows and then you have a door. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then your door is going to go here and then you're going to skip one and have your last window here. So there's seven windows in total on this plane. And the same thing on the other side, one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, and six, and then you have a door and then you have an extra window in here. And to build up your back walls, you can have your back wall built up like that. So like one, one like this, and this could probably be like a little lavatory. And you can also fill that up too to make your little air lavatory area. So then you're going to place your windows in. And if you grab your door of whatever you want, you can grab whatever door you want. I just use a spruce door. You're going to put your doors in here and your windows. So there we go. So there's your passenger cabin. So now we're going to build the cockpit up. We're going to put the windows in and we're pretty much up to here now. This is going to be our next layer. So this layer is very easy to do. And then just we'll put the roof on the plane and then we'll build the wings, tail, and uh, that will finish it. And then we'll move on to the other variants. Oh yeah, then obviously the engines and all the other details as well. So we'll get to those. But uh, but yeah, I'm just showing you what, what's coming up next. So let's go do that. Okay, so the next part for your cockpit, you are going to place three blocks of, of your stained glass right here, like that. You can also, if you really want to, you can also use the normal glass. I mean, I just like to use a stained glass to kind of make it look a bit different from the rest of the uh, cabin windows. But then what you're going to do is you're going to drag this all the way down until it's too short of the end, so right here. And then you're going to have a one, and then this is going to be a three, like that. You do the same thing here, because now we're starting to close off the plane now. And then you have a one, and then right here, you're just going to have some slabs right in there, just like this. And then we might as well just uh, finish the roof, and then we'll put the wings on the plane. You're just going to put some slabs across your windows here, and then you're just going to fill this in three, and this is going to go all the way back and fill up the entire roof of the plane. And if you just drag the middle, this will also build into the uh, the tail part of the plane. Now, what you're also going to do is you're going to place a slab right at the end here. Oh, and also build, make sure to build up your interior walls as well. So I'll have to go back into the cockpit and just build those up. And then you can just fill this all the way in till here. And then grab your slabs and you're going to place this along the side. Now we will be cutting these because the wings obviously will be fitting uh, in the middle. And you're going to leave a one block gap. Well, on mine I actually have it connected, but leave a one block gap to make it look better. A bit better and everything. So then you're just going to do the same thing. But yeah, like I said, we are going to be cutting this out and putting some blocks. Because that's going to be the setup for the wings. But for now, just fill it all the way up and leave one block gap like this. So there is basically the main fuselage of the plane done. So, yeah, so we'll do the wings uh, next. Yeah, we'll do the wings next and the engines and everything. And then we'll just finish up with the tail. So I think that's what we'll do. So then, uh, and then we can uh, build the other variants and stuff. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so for the placement of the wings, you're going to come right to where this stained glass is for your cockpit and you go one, two, three, four, five. And then right here, you're going to start, this is where the block is going to be. And, and it's going to be a total of six. So one, and then you go two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're just going to place some blocks like that. And then you do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then remember, there's five left. So then what you're going to do is, let me just double check again of how it looks. Yeah, basically what you're going to do is you're going to leave one on each side. And this is what's going to be the actual wing. It's basically a three block wide wing. These are just the flaps right here. So, and the wings are 20 long. So you're going to go one, two, three, like that. Mm. Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta think, I gotta see something here. Okay. So I got, I got confused with the black part. Okay. We'll uh, put the black part on after. So what you're going to do is going to go one, two, three, four. There we go. And then this is going to be 20. So one, counting this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then you're just going to build it up to here. And then this is going to go all the way down like that. And do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four. And that's going to be 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then you go 3. Like make this 3 in total. And then this is going to go all the way back here like that. So you should have a 1 on a, a one and a 1 here. Now you guys can fill this in yourself. And then all, all you're going to do is you're going to place some slabs. And you're going to go all the way down the wing here. I think up to the, uh, yeah, basically right up to the end. Now you may be questioning how come I'm using the quartz blocks and I'm using white wool for this. Well, at some point I was in the process of actually changing all this to white wool, this part here. So I just decided why not just do it for this build since I'm remaking it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And then you're just going to place your quartz slabs going all the way down here. So now all you got to do is just fill this in. And then we'll uh, build the engines. And then we're also going to do the connection from the gear to the engines. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll put all the little details, all these little bits of details you see on the wings, like on the top and the bottom of the wing. So you do that, and we'll uh, we'll get started on that. Okay, so once you have finished filling in your wings, this is what it should look like. So now we're going to do the placement of the engines. So you're going to come to the very front of the wing. You're going to go one, two, three, four. And then you're just going to go one, two, three, four with your iron. Now the easiest way to figure out exactly where the engines are, they're right in line with the uh, wheels. So if we go see, look at this one, you can, see, you can see the center of the engine is exactly in line with the wheel here. So same thing on the other side, but I'm still going to count it for the sake of the tutorial. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like this. So there's the engine placement. So now we're going to build the engines. Okay, so to build the engines, you are going to place two blocks on the side here. And then you go one, two, like that as well. And then you go, this is going to be four in total. One, two, three, four. You're going to have a stair here and then a slab right here. And if you really wanted to, you can also place a slab there as well. But I didn't, do, I didn't do that for mine. So then you're just going to place right under here. You're going to place a black block here. This is also going to, and then this is going to be one, two with your stairs. One, two with your stairs here. And then this is going to go one, two, three. And then you have a slab there. And then this is going to be a stair going this way. And then you're just going to connect it on like this. And then for and then you're going to place two slabs right there. So that kind of creates a little that's basically the uh, intake for the engines right there. And then you're just going to if I just look over here. There is going to be a slab here, slab here. Or I think it's a stair like that, and then it goes, it just builds on here. I will be double checking this. I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, so, okay, I see how it's built now. Yep, and there's actually a stair on the back of it. Okay, so right here, there's actually a stair, and then, like th these are fine though, these stairs here. And then on the top, you're just gonna, you're just basically just gonna actually add two slabs like that. 
So there we go. So that's what the one engine looks like. So we'll just do the other one. So you're going to go two, two, and then one, two, three, four. You're going to have a stair here and a slab. And then you're going to have another stair here. And this is going to go all the way across like that. So remember that these stairs are facing the front way. And then the other stairs are facing sideways. And then you're just going to place some slabs on each side. And then down here. You're going to have a black block here, and then it's going to go one, two, three, and then you're going to have a stair, and then a stair here, a stair there, and then this is going to go and round off the engines, and then you're just going to add two slabs just like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a block of iron here, and you're also going to place one on the other side, and then you're going to grab your cobblestone wall, and this is going to be your engine exhausts as well. Uh, mine I actually have it like this but I think that this is a bit more of a realistic way you can even go down if you wanted to. But I'm gonna build exactly like I did there so you're just gonna have your engine exhausts here and uh, like I do in most of my other tutorials I'm gonna be putting in the propellers at the very end just to you know finish it off and everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the strut that connects the engine to the landing gear. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so for the, uh, the connector bits for the uh, landing gear to the engine, you're going to add one slab here, and then this is going to go up, and then up again, and then up here. So you will have to replace uh, this slab here, but that's basically how it looks. So one, two, three, four in total. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna place one. You're gonna place. Oops. You're gonna place one slab on top of here. You're gonna to have to delete this one, and you're gonna place one like going like this, and then put that one back, and then you're gonna go up by one more, and then you're gonna go up by one more here. So there we go, and I, I actually do believe that it's. supposed to be one more inwards so maybe I'm missing a block Let's see how the other side looks hmm not sure what I did wrong there but I might have to go check because this is definitely I know that we built this part right it's probably the engines that are wrong so let, let me go take a look and then I'll uh, let you guys I'll give you guys a little update Okay, so I have done a little bit of checks, and I'm actually not really sure what I'm doing wrong of why that's not lining up perfectly. I'm going to put that stair back. Because if you look at this one, I built it. It should be basically centered. It should be a one and a one here, and then a stair here like that. But the whole thing is right. Like, I'm building the plane correctly. It's just I just don't get why that this ended up here. Like the whole the whole engine is correct and the wings and the fuselage is all correct of how we did it and even this part here. I just don't understand why it's it's ending here. So I think in order to fix that, what I'm just gonna do for this tutorial, and I could also change this one too. Um, you're just gonna add an extra block and then a stair right there, which means that now we can kind of add a, you can actually add a stair up here as well like that. I would actually say do that actually. It, may actually look bit, it actually looks a bit better. So yeah, so do that basically. I don't know exactly what went wrong with that. And what you're going to do too is you're going to have to add an extra stair here. So because the whole plane, I'm building it right. It's just that I don't know why that's not lining up perfectly. So I'm just going to change it up a little bit and build it like that. It actually looks a bit better like this anyway. So I would suggest doing that as well. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're, gonna, we're just going to change this out, change that out for a stair. So your stair should have an upside down stair and a right side up stair. You're going you're gonna to add another stair and put one upside down forward facing stair here. So there we go. So just like that. So yeah, like I said, I don't know what went wrong, um, but it's fine now. I mean, it still, it still looks 
the same and it actually st it looks uh, actually a tiny bit better actually i kind of like it like this so yeah i'm gonna we're gonna stick with this so now what you're going to do is just for we're gonna do all the details for the wings so we're gonna put like this part here and then all of these here and uh, but what we're gonna do is place the black in so we're gonna go do that right now okay so for the the black part of your wings now this is basically it's a in real life this would be used I think as like a like so ice doesn't build up on the wings it's something like a de-icing thing so like a lot of planes have it but it's basically like it's it's the black in color and it's like a kind of a rubbery type material I guess I'm not I forget what those things are made of but anyways you're just gonna add two here and then right here you're gonna have one two three four five six seven and it's gonna be you know, filling black here you're gonna skip one and you go one two three four five six so just like that the same thing on the other side so you're gonna put two in here one two three four five six seven I'm just gonna add some blocks here skip one one two three four five six just like this and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your slabs and then it's going to go one, two, three. And actually for this, what you're going to do is you're going to change that out for a stair like that to make it look a little rounder. So the same thing here. One, two, three. And then right here, you're just going to put replace that slab with a stair just like that. So there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work underneath the wing. And we're going to be placing these things. These are what's, This is what controls the flaps. And then there's also another one that kind of builds onto here too. So you can see that they're kind of in line like that. So actually we'll do that first before we do the other part. So you're just going to skip one, one, two, th oh, and then with slabs, one, two, three, like that. And you do the same thing over here. So where you got this block here, slab, go back one, one, two, three, like that. All right, so now we'll just do that little uh, underwing part, and then we will finish up with the tail, and then put the props in, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so for these little underwing parts, you're going to come on like on the uh, back side of the wing, and you go. You're going to leave two, so one, two, and then you're going to place. You're going to place a double slab. And then you're going to put an extra slab on that top of that double slab. And then you're just going to place one like this. And then you're going to leave a, a two block gap. And this is going to just be a double slab with this. Like that. And then you're going to skip one here. And then this one is just going to be like this. And you're going to have skip two. And you're going to have one more just like that. And if we just take a look. Yep. So that's how it should look. Oh, and actually, this one is kind of kind of like that, too. So that's how it should look underneath the wing. So do the same thing on the other side. You're going to skip two, add a double slab, another slab here, and then you're going to put a one there, skip two. So it's going to be the same thing. So basically, just build your slabs down by three and add one here. Then you're going to skip one on the other side, and this is going to be a, a double slab, and then another slab going like this, skip two, and just like that so there we go so that's how this that's how that looks and that's pretty much all the details for the wings now all we just need to do is do the rudder of the plane okay so for the rudder you're going to come right to the back and you're gonna go up six one two three four five six and you're not counting these blocks here because we've already put this for our roof so this is the so count six here this is good and then you're gonna go up this is gonna be a two and then you're gonna come down two two and then one and then one like that and then you can just fill this all in and then you're going to place a slab there 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 and there and actually right here you're just going to have a stair, and then a stair, and then a slab. And then here, you can just place two stairs like that. So there we go. And then the tail wings go on to the rudder as well. So we'll place those in now. 
Okay, so just before we do the tail wings, I, I just uh, just put a extra stair here so it looks more smooth. And I suppose you also could put one up there if you wanted to, but I just kept it a slab. So what you're going to do now is you're going to come to the second stair that you have. You're going to skip one, and you're going to place the slab here. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have a seven, and then you're going to have an eight with your two. And then this is going to come back around, and then this is going to connect into here. And you're just going to fill that in. Same thing on the other side. So whether you got the second slab, skip one. On the lower part, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to have a two here for eight, make it eight. And then this is just going to connect back down into here. Just like that. And guess what? Oh, and then not guess what just yet. And then just for the propellers, you could use black wool, but I'm going to use actually black concrete for this just to make it look a bit different because you got uh, this is black wool. So grab whatever black material you want, and then you're just going to build up your props. Now, if you want to shrink them, you can move them in. So you can actually have something like this, and this is actually what I might do because I did these on my. This is an. This is still an older build that I have done, and I used to be able. To, I used to do that, but what you could also do is just build it like this. And I'm actually just going to use my concrete. Yeah, so just shrink the propeller, uh, the iron by one, and then you're just going to have this, like that. But that's basically what it looks like if you wanted them like kind of out here but uh, yeah so I'm just, I'm just gonna shrink this by one and then you can just have your props here pretty much if you've done my other prop plane tutorials the props are exactly are built the exact same way just like that and there is the plane done if you wanted this version this is your completed aircraft so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the interior I'm going to basically do it like how I normally do my other videos. And then those of you who want the seaplane version, uh, you're going to get the floats next. And we're going to probably build the version on skis first, and then we're going to do the float plane version after. But I'm going to do an interior walkthrough, and then we'll uh, do the other variants if you want them. If not, then that's, that's basically it. You're done. You can get off this video and watch my other videos if you want to. So, so yeah, I'll give you a little interior walkthrough now. Okay, so coming into the plane, this is obviously the back of the plane. So coming into it. So I got nothing in the back here because I haven't really decided what I want back here. There's probably a, well, there is a lavatory, I think, on these planes. So I just haven't built it yet. But uh, here's the cabin, the plane. So it's basically a 1 1 configuration that you can get. Now, obviously, this blue is carpet, so but you can place any carpet you want. I also should mention, too, depending on what airline you're building or if you want to even make it your own colors, because these things come in numerous colors, like for like liveries and stuff. Some of them have like stripes on them, like wavy patterns and all that stuff. You can make the interior that's relevant to that. But, um, but yeah, so there's your cabin. Now, I believe also it would probably... Now, this thing wouldn't really have any luggage compartments because it is a, a really small plane. But you probably could at least have some sort of like netting here, like something. I didn't place anything because I didn't get that far, but I basically just placed the seats. Now, the cockpit, while on this one, is slightly underwhelming because this is literally all the space you get. But like I showed you on this one, um, you can, if you do a little bit of, of changes, you can get it to be a little bit bigger. So I'll go into this one, the one that we just made. And I'll show you the cockpit size on that so you can get a sense of the cockpit that you guys have done. So here's your cockpit here. And then to detail it, yeah, you can just place in... I did not mean to do that. I meant to place the cobblestone stairs like that. You can place something like this. And then you can place black wool here for an instrument panel. It will make it very cramped. Or you can just place an instrument panel on here if you want some extra room. But uh, yeah, you can do something like that for your cockpit. But there, there it is a little bit bigger. So that's basically it for this tutorial if you want this version and that's the interior walkthrough so you can get some interior ideas. So so if you are leaving please make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. 
And if you have any build requests, also please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, see you later. So now if you want, now what we're going to do is we're going to be building the seaplane. Well, actually we're going to build the, uh, no, you want to what? We're going to do the seaplane version first, and then we're going to do the ski version. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so this is basically the base for the floats. Now, the way this is going to work is I've broken the floats down into layers. So as you can see, there's not much layers, but we're going to build the floats first, and then I'm going to rebuild the very first layer of the plane. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is just so the connect so you guys can when you connect your floats on it will basically connect all right because if because uh, I don't want because you guys if you don't if I don't do this you guys will probably build the floats and then build the plane and then might be too far forward too far back so I rather just rebuild the first layer and I'm going to show you exactly how it connects on but this is what it looks like so it, it looks it's a bit it's simpler than it looks but it still might be a little confusing at least for me to explain it because i have to do all the explaining for this the the version on the skis is actually very very easy to do because all it really involves is just removing the landing gear and then just building a ski so this is an entire thing that we have to build like these like pontoons kind of thing like for this now as you can see, I also have wheels on this. Uh, this is basically what it would look like if it's on the ground. So, like, let's say if you, you know, your plane, you just landed in the water, and then you want to put your plane back on land, but not take the floats off, then you would have these uh, landing gear. I'm pretty sure these are removable. I think they're re they're not retractable. I don't think, but I think they're removable at least. But if you want your plane fully in the water, then you're just going to leave out the wheels. So that's basically what you're going to do. So for the materials for the floats, you're going to need white wool, quartz slab, black wool, nether brick stairs, oak fence, and a button. So that's basically what you're going to need. And I there is a detail I did actually forget to put on the uh, main plane. And that's this thing here. But we can put that on when, when we uh, do the first layer again. But basically all it is is basically you're just going to connect... Gonna, so where you got this three here, you're just going to connect in the center, and then this is gonna go one, two, three, like that, and then one, two, three at the bottom, like right there. So I'll be doing that again when we build the first layer, so you guys can do it to your plan. But yeah, so that's basically how the floats will be. So, and then what what's gonna happen is once I build the floats, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna be building the very first layer again of the plane, and I noticed that that's not even, but I'm gonna be building the first layer of the plane again. And then you guys are going to rewatch the, the part where I built the plane and you're just going to build it on top, the rest of it. So that's pretty much what you're going to do for this because I am not building the plane twice. So I'm only building the floats and that one layer just to make sure everything connects in properly. So anyways, let's begin. Okay, so for the first part, you're going to grab your white wool, and you're, and you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you're going to have a slab on each of the ends. And then you're going to grab your quartz slab, and you're just going to drag it all down here. Just like that. Now, on the outside part, now we're actually doing uh, this float first. The, uh, the, the, um right side one so on the outside of your float if you want your plane on land you're going to place you're going to skip one from the back and you're going to place in a uh, black block and you're going to place a button on that so that's if you wanted it on the land with the floats on but if you don't then you're just going to keep your slab here so but because I did this on mine that's exactly what I'm going to do so in terms of the gap you're going to leave so we're doing this this is the float we've just made so from this slab here, you are going to go, let me just grab some glass to count it to make it easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're gonna have a seven block gap in the middle and they're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll try to go right in the center. Actually, we'll just fill it from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you grab your block and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. And then you're just gonna place your slabs 
on each of the sides and then you're just going to do the exact same thing as you did for the other side but now at least now that we have the two floats you're, you're then you, they're basically lined up and then we just got to build them up so like I said before if you wanted your uh, wheels you could do that or if you don't you could just place a slab so but there is the base layer for the floats so now we're just going to build them up more Okay, so for the next part of the floats, I'm going to just do this one because this was the first one that I did. You're going to come up, and this one, this part's like very easy. You're just going to basically, basically just retrace what you did, but it's just going to go one more out. Like that, and then you're just going to fill it up like this. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. And you're just going to do this. You're dragging it all the way down to the slab and then you're just going to continue going down like that and then fill that in and there we go and then all you're going to do is just place some slabs right right on the backs of each of these there we go just like that so now this is the next layer we're gonna do which is the actually the last layer and of the uh, actual floats. Okay, so for the next part of your floats, you're going to come out by one, then you're gonna add a black block here, and then you're gonna come like this, and you're gonna have three going down. Now actually, this is actually all flat, so it's gonna be a three, and this is gonna go all the way down, and then once you hit this slab, you're gonna go one, two, three, like that. And then this is going to be a three across like this. And then you're just going to fill it in like that. And then, so it's basically just a three. So instead of like deleting the blocks like this, it's just perfectly a three. Cause you're going to see in a minute what we're going to be doing with it of why it's like that. And then you're just going to drag this all the way down like this. And you can also fill this in as well. So now what you're going to do, oh, and right on the back of here, you're just going to add a black block here. And then you're going to grab your nether brick stairs and you're just going to place them on each of these sides here. And we'll build, we'll, um, we'll, might as well just finish this float first and then we'll just uh, build the other one. So you're going to have a button on the back of the rear part of the float. And then on the front, now again, depending on how you want it, if you want it in the water, just place a button. If you want it on land, you're going to grab an oak fence, but I like to actually now use cobblestone wall for that. So I'm going to grab some cobblestone wall and it's just going to go out by two. And then you're just going to have a black block here with some buttons like this. And then do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to come out by one. You're going to have a black block here. And then this is going to be a three wide. And then this is going to go all the way down. Once you hit this slab, you're going to add an extra three one two three and then you're going to have make that three again and you can just basically fill this all across like that and then you're going to have a black block here and then you have a button and then you're going to place some uh, nether brick upside down nether brick stairs on here and on here and like i said earlier if you want it in the water you're just going to place a button you're, you're, you're going to come up by two and then have one down and you're going to have your buttons on the sides if you want it on the land. So there you go. So there is basically the floats. There's obviously uh, this top piece, what we're get, this top piece here. So we will be placing that. Don't worry. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to do these connection points. We're going to connect the floats so they actually attach together. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so to connect the floats together, you're going to grab your quartz slab and you're going to come right to where this white block is and you're going to count in three. One, two, and three. And then right here on the top part, just to make sure, yeah, it's on the top part. And then you're just going to connect them going across like that. And then the next part is basically one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to connect that. So it's a four block gap. And then the next one's a five. One, two, three, four, five block gap. And then on the sixth one, you're going to have your block like this, your slabs like this. So pretty much the pattern is three, 
four, and five. That's kind of how you can figure that out. So there, there they are connected. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to build this up. You're going to place a slab here. This is going to go all the way down right up to here. And this part here is actually, I think is actually, um, yeah, this part of the plane. We've already done that. So that's basically where your connection point will be. But what you will have to do is you will have to come on the inside of it and you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you go one, two, three, four, and five on that. So right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five. Just actually, it's on the inside part right here. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Like this. And then count in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, and five. So it should be, if you look over here, yeah, it should be one block short. Like this should be one block back from this one, which is what we exactly have. Okay, so that basically lays down for the floats. Now, also on this beam right here on the first beam, this is going to be where your first connection point is going to be to the actual plane when we go to build it. You're going to have you're going to double the slab up and you're going to have a slab down here. So right in line with this beam. So you're going to have one you're going to make that a double slab and then add another slab here. Cuz pretty much the other connection point is already within the landing gear. So pretty much you re you remove the landing gear. Now we already have that part, which is this part right here. So I'm not going to show you how to rebuild this because we already have it. Although I do have to build the top part again of it. So. Okay, so that's basically that part done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build the base of the fuselage again. So to make sure to line up everything. Okay, guys, I made a little bit of an error. Um... When I would guess when I guess when I was placing the glass blocks, I accidentally went in six, so I kind of built this one wrong. But I'm sure you guys have a seven block gap. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be using this one right here because this is more even. So it should be remember it's a seven block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because on mine the one that I just built is a one, two, three, four, five, six. So just make sure that that's seven. And I'm going to be using this one to build because this one's a, kind of a mess up right now. But at least this gives you a glimpse of the floats of how they're actually built. Just make sure that yours looks more like this so it's like one wider. If not, then you'll have to remove one of the floats and you'll have to extend it up by one. So I do apologize for that. But um, at least I, I, for me, I, I have another one that I can use. So I'm just going to remove this here because we're going to rebuild that part. And then remove that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the base layer. So I'm going to delete this for now. So basically what you're going to do is right from this center line here, you're going to build up two. You're going to delete that. And you're going to add six on the front. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to have a slab like that. I just want to make sure that that's good. Yep. Let me actually just go back and recount that. I just want to make sure. So if I have one here, one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually a seven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's seven. And then, so you're going to add one more to that, add the slab. And then remember, this is 25 long. So you're going to go from here. So you have seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then you got your slab on the back here. And then you're going to have another slab here and here. And this is going to go all the way down until it's too short. And then this is going to go all the way down to here. 
and then you're going to add two slabs into here and I just remember for the uh, for this it's a one block gap and then your slabs go all the way down until it's three short of the back so one two three and then you're just going to drag this down like that so there we go so there is the base of the uh, that's the, the base of the first layer now that's all I'm doing for the plane I'm not doing anything else so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the connection points so to connect your floats to your fuselage. So we'll do these ones first because they're very easy because we've already put these two as an indication of where they're going to go and then we're going to rebuild this part. So what you're going to do, well, I'm using this one. So you're going to go up by one more here. So where you got these two, you're going to go up by one more and then you're just going to connect in like that. So that is the first connection point to your to your floats. So remember just you can just add another slab and then add one here. And it's basically just a one, two, three. Yeah, so it should be three blocks ahead here. Like three slabs, then a block, slab, block, slab, like that. So now we're gonna have to rebuild this area here, the one that I got a bit of stuck on earlier when I was doing the tutorial so it's the same thing you're gonna count in one two three four five six seven and then remember it's a five so one two three four five six seven and then right here one two three four and five same thing on the other side one two three four five six seven and then one two three four and five so basically where we actually place those inside ones is exactly where it's going to go like that so then right in the center there's a block here and then there's a slab I believe it's actually a double slab here and there's going to be slabs underneath like that and then you're just going to build that up and then there's just going to be slabs in here so there we go so that's basically how it looks it's the same thing on the other side so right in the middle then you're going to have to, you're going to have to go down, to make that a three in total, and then you're going to place one here, and then you're going to go another layer of three like that, and then one in the center like this. And that's how it should look. And if you really wanted to make it look smoother, you can always place some slabs going down like this as well. And actually, I would actually recommend that because then it looks more like the first one. So you could just place an extra slab like that. But there we go. So there is pretty. Oh, and actually, just one more little thing. Go underneath the plane, and you're gonna add one here and one slab there. And then right in the center, you're gonna place one here. You're gonna go one, two, three, and one, two, three, like that for the under part, with the under parts. So there you go. So there is basically the seaplane version. Then all you gotta do is rewatch re this tutorial and just basically build the rest of the plane on top of it and then your final result should look like this right here so this is what your final result should look like once you have done it so just make sure it's all correct and remember to make a, make this a seven block gap one two three four five six seven and then place your things i accidentally went in uh, one in on that one so but um, so hopefully you guys don't make that same mistake but that is basically what your float plane looks like so now we're gonna do the version with the skis okay so this is what the plane looks like when it's on skis so if you wanted it in a snow biome this is basically what it's going to look like with the skis on it. So you don't even have to remove the landing gear. The skis actually get build, get built uh, around the landing gear. So this is the one we actually just made. I just basically did the skis on it. But uh, we're going to be doing the skis to this one right here. So. Oh, and actually one more thing I did actually forget to mention in this tutorial. I remember how uh, we needed white carpet. Well, I know why, because if you wanted to place your glowstone, I forgot to, rem I forgot to tell you guys this in the, uh, when I was doing the interior, if you wanted your glowstone up here, you're going to have, you're going to want to place some carpet on the top. So basically 
like this. You just place a row of carpets and have your glowstone in, and that can go up to here. So yeah, I, I forgot to uh, mention that, but if you wanted to know about the glowstone, you could just do that. Anyways, let's go. Uh, let's go do these skis. Okay, so the skis are very very easy to do. So we're gonna do it at the front first. So all you're gonna do is gonna you're gonna add two going forward, two going back, and then you're go you're just going to join these up like that. And then you're going to join these up like this. And then you're going to add some iron bars right here. Now, if you really wanted to, you can connect them if you wanted to. But it kind of makes it look a bit square. And then you're just going to add slabs on the top parts of these. So there you go. So that's basically what the skis look like on all of them. So for the back wheel, you're going to go one, two, one, two. And you're going to do the exact same thing. And then right here, you'll have to get under here so you're gonna go one two three and like that and then you're gonna have a slab like this and then like that but this one you're gonna actually have a white block in here and then you're gonna bring iron bars and connect them all the way across and you're, you're gonna join in here so there we go so that's the ski for that one and then we just need one more to go so it's gonna be two and then two like that and we could just add our slabs at the ends of those and then you're just going to have your uh, your blocks like this and then just some slabs here and here and then you're going to have a block here and then you're just going to have iron bars and go all the way around like that and actually, why not for this one, just, just make it go all the way around. Actually, no, don't, because since there's no connection bit here, just have it like that. But for these guys, you can. You can have these going all the way around if you want to do. So there you go. So there is the version on the skis. So, and that basically finishes this tutorial. Okay, guys, that basically finishes this tutorial on the de Havilland DHC6 Twin Otter. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to comment, like, subscribe. And if you have any build requests, please let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial later.